put both of you, I mean, obviously coming into this game, do you expect that result? I mean, the way you guys played, um, getting six straight touchdowns, kind of dominating the performance, why would you guys be on I mean, I feel like as a as a team, you know, this week was real hard for us, you know, and the only way that we could prove ourselves or take out our energy and, and, and show what we could do and bounce back and correct our mistakes is was in this at this environment, at this stadium, and that's the opportunity we had. And when the opportunity presented itself, we played as a team and we dominated and we still could get better. Absolutely. I would agree with that. Um, <clears throat> uh, like Mike said, we had a bad feeling in our stomach after last week, but, uh, you know, we were going on the road and we couldn't uh, couldn't split apart. We just had to come together and we played for each other today. Um, and it was uh, nine units strong. Right here in the front, Bill. Down in Michigan was eight for 11 on first down in the first half. And I think they got one first down in the second half. What, what changed? What did you guys do defensively to stop those conversions from happening? Um, uh, we just had to buckle down and more tackling. Uh, probably a little uh, responsible for bad, poor tackling in the first half. But um, we were never... Uh, <clears throat> We were never like worried or concerned when we came in at halftime. Made a couple adjustments on what they were doing, um, and it's just just preparation. We were prepared and we wanted this one defensively. We really did. Uh, questions? Some of those missed tackles earlier in the game. Do you kind of drew that to, to, to jitters, maybe uh, you know, just emotions uh, or or what? Because no, I mean normally you make you make those tackles, a sure tackler, uh, or were you just trying to knock the guy out? It happens, you know. Uh, I just gotta you know, work on my technique. You know, my guys are giving me a little, a uh, little bit of mess for it. But uh, you know, I just told them I got them, um, and I was going out and try my best for them. You know, play for them in the second half, and um, I felt we did a better job in the second half. We stepped up through the week, maybe on an individual level uh, within the team to kind of, kind of bring everyone back together on the same page. Because you guys really seem like a unit. I mean, more of a, of a unit. Um. I feel everybody did play the role. I mean, I feel like everybody stepped up. I mean, the loss was, I mean, it was humbling more than anything. Um, Definitely. And then just to see Coach Meyer, you know, hurting and, and, and feeling down and our offensive coordinators, they really can't play the game for us. So we had to figure out a way to give back to them and correct that so bring their spirits up as a whole. So some guys didn't have their best games last week. So we felt as a team we had to, we had to bring, the, bring the energy and everything back for this team. So we, we wanted to go out here and prove ourselves. And last question for this group, but uh, uh, Tony. Mike, your match up with Jordan Lewis this week. How much were you looking forward to it? How did you do it? Um, I was looking forward to a lot. I think I did my job. A um, couple underthrown balls, a couple PIs, but you know that's humbling. It keeps me keeps me uh, motivated, you know. And uh, I wish I could have those back, but as long as I'm helping my team and we're winning, and and um, you know we have opportunity to play again, it's it's fine. We'll get it corrected. How much talking was there? Uh, he didn't really talk much. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like that either. It wasn't like that on offensive side either. There wasn't too much jaw. Yeah. So. I mean, sometimes you got to respect. Is that how it always is? Uh, no what? Like, like us talking or them talking? I know you guys are talking. <laughs> <laughs> like during Michigan, the Michigan game, is there a lot of talking? Depends. I mean, it really depends. I mean, it depends on whoever your one-on-one -on -one matchup is. If you're John going back and forth with him, I guess so. But I mean, me personally, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Anybody. I don't think he had much to talk about. Yeah, it was, it was really a handle business type thing. We don't, we don't have time to go back and forth with you. It was just handle business.